We have a slightly different approach for replacing strings in the fourth and fifth octave. You don't need an anchor in that case, as you do for the higher strings. These strings are so thick that once you get a knot tied in, and they're not going to pull through the holes in the soundboard. So there's a slightly different knot for these. I'm going to change this fourth octave B right here. Let me just get the string off. I like to sort of hold on to the end to keep it from scratching on its way through. Put that aside. Here's my new string. I'm going to carefully unravel that just so I don't put any unwanted kinks in it. There we go. Insert it into the hole and pull all the way through so I can work on my knot on this side. Now this knot Sometimes people call it the rabbit ear knot or the loop knot because you end up making a couple of loops. I'm going to put a, a bend about an inch in, and this is going to serve more or less as my anchor instead of adding a little piece. I'm going to hold it onto that. On the other hand, I'm going to break those fibers a little bit so I can make a nice loop. Okay, now I'm going to make a second loop overhand meaning that the long side of the string here is crossing over the short side, like that. So you can see that it's crossing over there. And now I have to hide this a little bit and grab it. And this one is not really crossed, it's just kind of a, a bend. Now I want to put my thumbs together. So I don't want to go in through here, I want to put my thumbs together like this and insert the tail into that loop and grab everything and pull.